Okay, before we start tearing this engine apart, first thing we have to do is drain the oil. What? It doesn't fit! Why doesn't it fit? Oh, crikey! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we do. We have a 24. Yeah. Good socket. It's probably a 21. What we got? Uh, nope. It does no. fit? The 21? Yeah. Ready, tidy, lefty, loose. And it's windy, so where's the wind coming from? Okay, it's gonna come from there going this way. So, the oil is gonna lean a little. <laughs> At least this time it's not hot oil. Uh, might be cruddy oil. I think it's safe to say <laughs> that either it is a mud in there or there is no oil in there. Which allows us to have the first part of the engine. Yay! Alright, the book. The book. Alright, so the first step, after taking the valve covers off, the rocker arms. And we don't have any. Push rod. Ah, oh, that's the one you threw. Good. The push rods. These are the push rods. They, they just say to pull them out. What they say? <laughs> you were supposed to look on the book, woman. What does it say? It says. Oh, it, it, says now it says slide them out of the head. <laughs> oh, no. Slide them out of the head. Slide them out of the head. We have, I need a long 15. A long 15? So we found our 15 and our impact wrench. Socket. Oh, there we go. The first bolt. Them. We sprayed them with penetrating oil yesterday. Left and right hands up separate. Yeah, that's why we're so separate. These are our wait from the perspective of what you see when you're looking into the engine compartment. Yeah. All right. So this is the right side. Isn't that what I said? No. Yeah. I don't know. But if you just hear what you wanted to hear, because <laughs> you're a female and you don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> This is some hard work. That's why people get paid a lot of money, I can tell. <laughs> this head looks considerably and rust, more cruddy. We trust, so we're just going to leave that that way and tighten it back up. Get the engine running today. <laughs> we can't make the deadline robust. <laughs> what? We don't have that tool. Maybe the other side first. Maybe we should consult the book. Okay, so we're going about this. It will push out the other side. I'm holding up one. He pushes the.
trick is, can you pull it? Nope, you can't. You gotta get it to me. Yep. This is a replace in the part we will put replace, correct? Yeah. Oh. Don't do that. Is it coming more? Yep. Almost out. It's really easy. There's some steep. Oh. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> because this nut is holding the flywheel. Mm -hmm. Up the top, take the flywheel off. Is that a special tool that you ordered? Well, it's the thing. One is locking the flywheel, and then the other one is. Oh, yeah, the thing that locks that this. So you can get that yeah. off. What's that called? Land nut, I believe. Mean. Yeah, that's right. Alright, well, shall we try that? Try this one off? Do we have the tool? Did it come yet? I have the tool. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Oh, but we can write it off. And here's the next one. I mean, are you still collecting? Are you still my golfer? Mm -hmm. I'm done. Are we breaking foot soon? No. Oh, I closed it. There you go. I don't think you realize how good of news that is. I do. Some people would even say, why well, even bother opening and moving the case? Like, I know. There's a lot of things we've been living in there. I think we should open it up. Well, that sounds like a charm. <laughs> and boy, does it look sexy. <laughs> you can see it right away. Yeah. Because he's not going to be one to take a uh, wave, you know? Oh, my trash can setup didn't work so well. Or should we take the flywheel off first? The book, what does the book say? The flywheel is probably a good idea. Yeah, penetrating oil on it? Yeah. There was one not, not even on here. Uh, is that because it came from Mexico? <laughs> or because somebody the rebuilt last it? The person who worked on it must have been a DCD. Or thought it's not an important bolt? <laughs> mm, it probably would be a whole lot better with it though. <laughs> Yes. Ooh, should we have a bucket in case oil comes out? Doesn't tight at all. Hmm. Oh, and you bought a puller for those, right? Yeah. Here, put, do you want to put that cover in the baggie? Sure, why not? There we go. Installing the tool to lock the flywheel.
know that keeps that in place. Maybe we just let that keep soaking in overnight, you know, with all the shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I had to hold the pole. <laughs> we knocked everything over. All right. Take the pole. Wait, where's our good head? Here. Good. Because the other head fell off and broke some more. <laughs> All right. Let's take this off so I can pull the okay. wheel off. Sense pose. It's always comes in handy. Yeah, this thing is a piece of junk. Yeah, show them that in here. Yeah, we need to drill a hole through the... I think we need to get a new pipe, so we'll see. Yeah. Drill a hole so that a post goes through it so it's stable. Because this thing... I don't know if you can see. If this tightens down, it's just bending. Piece of junk. Alright. We need to take this lock thing off again. Which okay. works with this. Oh. At least it's off. Yeah. What about from the bottom? <gasps> it's like oh. This is going to be reused. No broken teeth? I got to set it somewhere. It's heavy. <laughs> it's in the most of its weight right now. And there's some doubt. Is this how you can? Oh. Yeah. Can't that there, but yeah. I'll get a box. Two in here. But a new kit will come, rebuild kit will come with the new seals. Yeah, 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 we'll put a new seal on it. Is that the seal that they talked about yes, leaking, leaking from? Ours. A major leak? Yeah. If it leaks from here, you're going to see a lot of dirt build up down here. A lot of oil will accumulate here. All right. Well, we got that taken care of. Oh, there's another nest. Where? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. That on. I don't even have a little bit of a like, I know this is supposed to be the tool, but I've also always been like, okay, well, what if it's being used with this? Oil pump cooler. Now you look at the oil pump and this, and they don't really fit. You know? Like, not at all. Oh! It was in my pocket. Well, I hope it wasn't an iPod. No, it was not an iPod. Uh, so... Go back. Puller. Uh, <laughs> this guy needs two screwdrivers in the picture. Not an iPod. Uh, so that's the whole bigger bone. So, how the hell does that puller work then? Right? This mechanic. Mm -hmm. Moving its cover, oil pump will pull out of case. It's difficult to get started, but careful, concentrated wiggling and prying will do the job. Pry only where pump overhangs the case, never between the ceiling surfaces.